What's happening guys, this is my video on the top 5 best Android keyboards for your Android devices, so let's begin. So the first one here is the Swift Key keyboard. So this is the Swift Key keyboard and the interface is really nice, really simple, really elegant. And at top you have these numbers, if you long press it, you'll get those numbers. You also can switch to numbers from here and additional symbols and going back, okay. and you will be noticing that on each button you have secondary symbols so if you long press that you'll get that respective symbol so that's nice again if you press this return button here you'll get this additional emote icons so that's good okay so guys you can do a lot of additional customizations and setup for your keyboard from the settings menu i'll come back to it in a moment and you also get a thing called swift key flow with this latest version of the swift key so i'll just quickly show it to you how it exactly works There you see so guys you know you, you see this uh, line you know colorful lines here this is kind of you know swiping kind of a feature that we get with this a swipe keyboard with the samsung so you know the word predictions are amazing and you know it's really helpful you know you don't need to move your finger up you know you have automatic spacing automatic spacing and so on automatic capitalization after full stop so that's a really nice feature here so let's move on to settings so this is the settings panel for this keyboard. So you must enable the Swift key flow, okay? So to get this uh, Swift key flow function, again, you have this language and layouts. This is for your, you know, for additional language if you want to uh, download, or if you, if you want to use other languages, you can download it from here. So you have so many additional languages here. So that's really nice. Again, uh, moving on to theme, you also can theme your keyboard. Let me just quickly show it to you. Let's get the neon, okay? You also can enable so foreign characters, arrow keys, and split layout on your keyboard. So how this works is, you know, if your keyboard is in landscape mode, you know, your keyboard will be, you know, on two parts of your, uh, I mean, on two parts of your screen, and in the middle you'll have a gap. So it's for, it's, uh, you know, it's better to use with your, uh, you know, double hand. I mean, two fingers here. Yeah. At the middle you'll have the gap, and at the sides you'll have the keyboard. So it's easier to use in the landscape mode. So let's uh, go back and you also can do your advanced settings and st stuff for your, you know, gestures and so on. So you can do those uh, settings from the advanced menu and so on. So let's get back. And this is the neon keyboard. I mean, neon themed keyboard. So you can uh, do a lot of uh, customizations to this keyboard and you also have this, you know, Swift key flow and stuff. So that's really cool. So that's my number one. So the next one here is the hackers keyboard. So this is the hackers keyboard. And on top you have this uh, symbols here and at the bottom you have your QWERTY keypad and on top you have this number rings so if you long press it you'll get that uh, number so I like the fact that we have this you know indicator here if you uh, press the shift all the keys goes a uh, capital here if you long again press it now it turns to red this mean this means you know it will remain capital until you remo remove it moving on to settings so here you can do your setup for your you know keyboard height a keyboard height landscape keyboard mode so you get this four row keyboard and the full five row layout so let's choose this we will see the change and you also can do your you know theme setup and stuff like that here let's get the ice cream sandwich theme and you also can you know uh, download additional languages if you want to and going back you can enable gestures and key actions uh, say you have swipe up uh, swipe down swipe left and swipe right so how this works is if you set an action uh, say for example if you swipe up what do you want to do let's say close keyboard so you can give in your actions here and you can just go back do all your setup play around with your settings according to your preferences now we go back and here we have the five row keyboard here you also have this arrow navigation bar here and now we swipe swipe up on the keyboard it's closed so you have additional gestures here as well as you know various customizations options it's you know it's like a professional keyboard because you have function keys here the number pad like a professional full keyboard so that's really nice so that's my number two so the next one here is the smart keyboard pro so this is a really nice keyboard very good looking and we have the iphone style keyboard here you also can switch from various themes i'll just come back to it in a moment 
So very good interface. You also have this indicator here with this keyboard as well. Okay, so that's really nice. Uh, pressing it once will change it to you know capital letters. Pressing it twice, it will remain. Uh, it will remain you know capital until you remove it. Moving on to numbers and additional symbols from here. Let's go on go into settings. So this is the Smart Keyboard Pro settings. So here you can do your setup for your language, what language you want to use. Here you have this general settings. You can select your skin, Android, Gingerbread, Galaxy, HTC, white, black, gray. Let's use HTC. So you have your HTC keyboard on your on any of your Android device uh, by using this keyboard. So you also can uh, do your additional setup here. I don't need to go through all these keyboards. I mean all these settings because you can just play around with it so you have your just a setting as well same that you get with this hackers keyboard swipe left swipe right whatever you want to do uh, you can uh, you know do the accent setup here you also have advanced settings uh, so so guys uh, I just wanted to show you you know this keyboard have uh, you know iPhone theme HTC theme so this is what uh, this keyboard is all about apart from that it's uh, the same but you don't have this you know glide feature that you have with the swift key the next one here is the sin keyboard i don't know how it is exactly pronounced but i guess it's the sin keyboard okay so this is the sin keyboard and you know you have this cartoonish kind of interface here but it looks really nice i just love it uh, i'm using this keyboard right now on my galaxy s4 and it's uh, really really nice on top you have this numbering as usual so let's not talk about this normal stuff that you get with other keyboards as well Let's quickly go on to the feature, you know, unique feature that this keyboard provides. So here you see this three, uh, three dot, three dot uh, button here. If you press it, you go on to a different interface here. So you know you have various sections here: busy, greetings, clock, calendar, sign off, and emos, emotion icons. So you know you can quickly insert, you know, text from here. Say if you want to uh, greet someone, you have this hello, hey, good morning, what's up. Again, go back say if you if you can't call anyone you can say you know i'm in a meeting battery low occupied can't talk so you don't need to go ahead and keep typing you just need to you know press this respective button and just send it uh, you can just do, say this sorry uh, again going on to calendar uh, this is not available with this free version you need to buy it sign off uh, you know buy uh, regards let me know what you think thanks kind of stuff again emotion icons there you see uh, and here you also can add time 1 15 1 25 and am pm you also can select that so you also can uh, add calendars i mean date and stuff but you need the pro version so that's really nice about this keyboard so that's all i wanted to show here so the last one here is the super keyboard so this keyboard is really nice, you know, the interface is really nice, uh, looks really good and uh, you have this basic numbers at the top and other symbols and other keys. So moving on to additional uh, symbols and numbers here and you also can add various kind of, you know, uh, icons here like the telephone, there you see, the copyright, the gr uh, this crown, uh, heart and stuff. So you can do these stuff. Uh, this is additional that you get with this keyboard you don't get this with other keyboards this is like an emoji keyboard as well i mean using this option so you don't need to go ahead and download an emoji keyboard um, if you use a lot of symbols on your chat and messages so moving on so here you can go on to jump into settings for your keyboard okay you have uh, smileys here okay you have so many additional options here like you know speech uh, smiley compact language uh, from language you can download additional languages for your keyboard for your input method moving on to settings so here on the general settings you can customize you know what kind of keyboard you want you know compact qwerty or the t9 method so again you can uh, you know play around with your setup here you also can customize your uh, keyboard here like from fonts to colors and themes so for that you need to get the pro version so this keyboard is really really nice you also can get the prediction dictionary so that the word prediction gets better 
and for that you need the pro version again so it's a quick demo that this uh, keyboard is really nice you can see that the interface is really really nice so that's all that's all for this video guys thanks a lot for watching i'll be coming up with a second video very soon on top 5 keyboards part 2 so stay tuned for more and you guys have a great day